Hello guys, this is Rohit from Windroid Tech. I'm gonna show you what's there for the new build uh, released by Windows in Windows Insiders or in technical preview. So this build is called Point One Four Three Three Two. This is both released for phone as well as PC. So let us start and find out what's there. So according to it, uh, their change log, they have stated that we have made improvements to share UI for Cortana reminders and the experience is now much more polished. So I'm just gonna start the Cortana and we'll find out what's new and what's polished in there. Here is a usual Cortana. It's lagging as uh, I'm showing you. Hello Cortana. right now so okay that was my fault of internet so here is the new improved uh, menu of the Cortana here are the help here are the settings of Cortana so it will just ask what is there for speech etc that is one of uh, Cortana's features they have added. I don't think uh, anything is polished right here because Sorry, it's... The internet and I aren't talking right Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't feel anything uh, new in the Cortana thing. So we'll move on to the next thing. Uh, they have also told that uh, there was a bug in the previous build where you hold the camera button right here in the action bar and it didn't open anything like uh, when I... Uh, tap and hold mobile data it uh, opens this and now for camera it also opens the camera app which wasn't opening for previous builds so that is one of a feature and more of a thing uh, I like using Windows phone in the in in the landscape mode because uh, it looks pretty good right here and by here it looks uh, pretty boring and everything looks like old style here you get the new UI, everything is uh, shown right here, so that is co pretty cool, so try out once. So next thing, uh, they have uh, fixed the issue for uh, Lumia 435, 532 and 535 for unable to take photos uh, by opening the camera app. Now I don't know about that because uh, my camera app is working fine and it is Lumia 640XL. Here is the rich HDR mode on and I'll just snap a photo or a few to show you that it is working. Yeah, here right here is the image. Now why it is, isn't zooming, I don't know right now. Let me just check out the file information. It's just 2998KB and I don't believe that it's true because the original photo seems in the, as the size of 3.6MB. So that might another bug of uh, the Windows Photos apps. So now uh, they have also fixed uh, the issue with the Italian keyboard where certain words would not get capital capitalized. So that was the one bug. I can't show you because I have an English keyboard. So next thing, uh, they have uh, which they have adjusted is that when you use your headphones right here on the call, and if someone might have called you right now, uh, there would be uh, playing loud music. But uh, now that isn't there, so that is good thing for you. Next thing they have chosen is uh, that we can set the time for how long it sh the windows should require to sign in via settings. So we can go to the account settings, accounts, sign in and here is the windows hello. Sign into the windows apps and services by teaching windows to recognize you. But unfortunately windows hello isn't available for this device. So that is uh, quite boring for now. I don't feel Windows is uh, making any progress in this operating system. And uh, these uh, features have been added to the new build but still I'm gonna show you that it is quite eligible for 
video and audio playback here is one song and it is also playing pretty good so uh, it is also appearing on lock screen as I am gonna show you uh, it didn't appear I don't know what happened Now it's playing, now it will show up on the lock screen. Yeah, here it is right there. Uh, it is also now on the lock screen. So now let us begin the video playback. Here is a win uh, video playback and a video by Team OnePlus. The video playback is quite smooth now. But one thing I didn't understood here, right here is that uh, what are windows makers have inside the head because uh, these two options are quite silly as uh, it just moves your video ahead by 30 seconds and it uh, makes the video go back by 10 seconds exactly what it is I don't know right now there it is pretty a foolish thing and I don't think uh, this uh, might gonna come back in the new build so that was it guys uh, but still I found a new bug in this I'm just gonna show you where in the lock screen there is again coming off infinite scrolling here is the infinite scrolling uh, and I hope it get fixed in the new build but this build is quite stable uh, but I just don't feel about Cortana app it is pretty laggy and it is not quite smooth as it used to be in the 8.1 so stay stay tuned guys watch thank you for watching the video